morning everyone uh, in last chapter we discussed about the different elements uh, how they are acting in the process uh, dynamics or process industries and we seen the different types of control systems also that is a open loop control system and closed loop control system and what are the examples for the open loop and closed loop we all uh, cleared about the uh, entire topics so next we will going to step into the second chapter what is uh, this is the second chapter which is uh, you related to entire your process control actions and different types of controllers so which type of controller mode you are going to use and which type of controller you are going to use in order to get the accurate output that you are going to learn in this chapter so entire this chapter is divided into two, two parts so first part which is related to which type of action you are going to take that how the, how the controller mode will act according to the output generation if the output is in the discontinuous manner then that uh, controller modes are discontinuous modes if the output that uh, process action that is whatever the control action that will generate if that is continuous then that is called as a control which is a continuous actions and composite actions we all uh, we have so all these topics you are going to learn in the first part of your second chapter so in uh, second part of your ch second chapter depending upon the input uh, whatever the input you are going to operate to the controller those are uh, divided into three types which is a pneumatic controller hydraulic controller and uh, which is uh, uh, electronic control depending upon the input whatever you are going to operate to that controller so how they will act how they will work those you are going to learn in this chapter so uh, before going to the controller modes and different types of controllers uh, le uh, le learning so first what is meant by process we already came across uh, in the block diagram of a process control but just i'll recall that one so process which is a series of steps in order to get a particular product we are going to perform uh, we are going to perform the different types of uh, series of operations so in uh, to get the accurate product then that is called as a process in order to get a desired or accurate product we need to give a control actions okay give a setup of inputs or uh, setup of controlling methods in order to get a uh, required or uh, setting or required desired value so that is called as a control so this second chapter entirely related to the controller so this is a block diagram of your process control uh, instrumentation uh, which is having the first process uh, which will generate the output so uh, we are going to control the particular output by measuring that one and uh, by measuring that one we are going to compare it so after comparing we are going to give to the controller that controller will take the action according to the error then uh, that controlling action that will influence is the final uh, final control element which will directly affects the process so here in this one we are going to talk about uh, the error detector first error detector is there no which is a set point and measured value that is given to the comparator that comparator is called as a error detector okay so uh, uh, that error detector output we are going to give to the controller so we are going to entire we are going to discuss about the controller part so which type of controlling action we are going to do there and which type of input you are going to apply to the controller so that entire process we are going to learn in the second chapter so the first part in your second chapter these are the entire topics so the controller mode depending upon the output generation of that particular controller those are if the output is in the continuous manner that will each and every time the output will varies then that is called as a continuous controller modes if that output is discontinuous for example uh, the controller output generate the output after that that will sit idle and again after time being that will generate the another output so like that if you have that type of controller outputs then that is called as a discontinuous controller modes okay so discontinuous modes again that is divided into how many types of uh, how many many how many outputs that will generate based upon that those are divided into again three categories two position controller mode two positions either it may be on or off the two positions may be on or off so that we can take it as a on off controller mode next one multi position control system so multi position means that have more than two that have more than two so next one floating type control mode floating type control mode these are the discontinuous control modes continuous control modes again those are divided into two types which is a individual control mode just one controller mode we are going to take composite control mode so in the composite control mode any of the individual control mode we are going to add my one or more that is two or more control modes we are going to add in the composite control mode here you can see that is continuous control mode are divided into three categories which is a proportional controller integral controller and derivative controller 
Next one composite controller modes which is PI, PV, PID. So proportional integral, proportional derivative and proportional integral derivative. So these are the topics you are going to learn in the first part of your first chapter, the second chapter. So first we will discuss about what is meant by error. Error, you already know that is the difference between the set point and the measured value. That set point value we are going to take it as R. Uh, measured value we are going to take it as B. Then E, that error that we can take it as E is equals to R minus B, right? So that E is equals to R minus B, we can express that error as percentage of span. Error as percentage of span. The controller output as percentage of full scale. Full scale value, the output varies between the specified limits with a given expression. That given expression is percentage of P is equals to delta P minus P min by P min P max minus P min into 100. Here we are going to write the controller output. The controller output, the controller output as a percentage of span. So controller output we are going to indicate with what? P. Okay, P, capital P indicate the controller output. So we are taking the percentage of span. So that percentage of span, that uh, percentage, percentile P equals to that delta P, uh, you don't need to take delta P directly controller output, you can take the P. Okay, P minus whatever the minimum output generate by that controller output. What is the minimum? For example, uh, like a thermometer, let us take. So thermometer that will measure what? That will measure some uh, 0 foreign heat to some 120 foreign heat, right? So that 0 foreign heat is called as a, which is a minimum output that will generate. Uh, 120 foreign heat, that is a maximum, uh, maximum output that can generate by the thermometer. So there, that the 0, that will indicate the P minimum. 100, that is 120, whatever the 100 or 120, that will take the P maximum. So that can be expressed as delta P is equals to delta P minus P min by P max minus P min. Here we are writing the percentage, right? So percentage that is multiplied with the 100, so into 100. So this is entire formula. If we uh, write uh, for error output, this is for the output. If you write error as percentage of span, then you can tell me that uh, percentage of P, Instead of writing percentage of P here, we are going to write percentage of E. Okay, percentage of E equals to here R is a set point, B is a measured value. So R minus B by B max minus B min into 100. So that is the formula for the error as percentage of span. Okay, so next we'll go for uh, the continuous con uh, discontinuous controller modes. The basic uh, discontinuous controller mode is the first one is a two position control system. So two position control system. Whenever here, we are going to compare with the error, right? So, we are going to compare with the error that uh, generated by the error detector. If E is equals to what? R minus P. Okay. So, here you can see, here you can see the formula which is controller output which will generate 0% when EP is less than 0, 100% when EP is greater than 0. What about EP here? EP is nothing but R minus P. R which is a set point, P nothing but that is a which is uh, measured whatever the uh, whatever the value that measured by that measurement system. So R minus B here. So if R minus B value R minus B value is less than zero, then you can get E P as less than zero here. R minus B is less than means E P value is less than R minus B. When we have R minus B is less than R minus B is less than zero whenever the measured value is greater than the set point value measured value is greater than the set point value then that error value will be negative okay so measured for example you take a level control system so level control system uh, that is overhead tank uh, level you are going to control okay so here uh, actual my measured value is which is a bottom level my set point value is at top for example so here you compare our set point value is higher than the measured value right set point value is higher than the measured value then what happened we need to switch on the motor, right? So we need to switch on the motor means you are going, that will generate the controller output as 100%. So here, that EP is greater than 0, right? So EP is greater than 0, nothing but set point minus measured value is greater than 0. Nothing but whenever the set point value is high only, then, then only you are going to get EP value as greater than 0. If EP value greater than 0 means that measured value, that actual value is less than the set point, then what, uh, what you are going to do? You are going to switch on the motor. So switch on the motor nothing but you are going to give the 100% output. 
okay so ep is greater than 0 then that will generate the 100% whenever for example my tank is full okay full that is the over overflow uh, then overflow nothing but that measurement value which is higher than the set point so set point and just i fixed it 90% but my tank is overflow then measured value is above the set point nothing but that error value is less than 0 what you should do there you are going to switch off the motor you are going to switch off the motor means you are going to uh, give 0% of controller output so likewise you are going to uh, take the two position control system uh, in the two ways okay either p that equation you can take p is equals to 0% when ep is less than 0 100% when ep is greater than 0 0 percent is nothing but you are going to switch off the motor off that is called as off condition 100 percent means you are going to switch on the motor that you are going to give 100 percent to that one so uh, here 0 means off 100 means on nothing but on off operation is going there so on off operation is nothing but that this controller mode is also called as on off controller okay on off controller mode. here you see uh, this diagram okay so this uh, total which is a continuously operating here so continuously operating whenever this let us take this is a error value so here one dotted line indicate that is a zero line okay this above part entire which is ep is ep is uh, ep is less than zero here this bottom part let us take which is ep is greater than zero okay so here you observe bottom part up to here that bottom part is there no so that should produce hundred percent of output Next from here to here, that output is above, that above, above that nothing but EP value is less than 0 here. So EP value less than 0 means that it should produce the 0%. Again this is below the line, so that should produce 100%. And next again below the line, uh, above the line, so that should produce 100%. So simultaneously that will generate. Okay. So this type of action that can be done here for the two position controller mode. Here also you can see okay same thing that will be repeated here so here up to here okay this is below line that will produce 100 uh, 0 percent above line that will produce 100 percent okay same thing that will be repeated here which is a comparator so comparator i given the comparator diagram why because here we are comparing the error that is r minus b is less than 0 or greater than 0 so comparator uh, which will give com for the comparator we are going to give our set point value and measured value okay set point value which is from the sensor and our actual uh, set point value okay our measured value which is come from the sensor and actual set point value that is come from the control okay control nothing but that is a set point these two are given to the comparator and that will generate that will give to the uh, whatever the heater or whatever the process whatever the controller we are going to take that will give in to that one okay so the main disadvantage of uh, this uh, discontinuous controller mode that is two position controller mode is which is a neutral zone so so what is meant by neutral zone so neutral zone here here i have taken uh, the x-axis on the x-axis i am going to take the error and y-axis i am going to take the output that is process output which is p here okay so here in order to change so if ep is less than zero that will produce a zero percent if ep is greater than zero that will produce a hundred percent so whenever uh, you taken the same example whatever i explained in the previous you taken the same example I am going to first, I am going to initially, I am going to switch on the motor. Okay, why? Because EP is greater than 0, let us take. I am going to switch on the motor. So, in fraction of seconds, uh, that water will, uh, water will come into the tank? No, that will take some time lag to get the water into the tank. Okay, so that lag and that need to change from 0 to 100 percent. Okay, that output. So, from here, whenever, whenever you are going to whenever that is switch off mode that will produce a zero percent so mean switch on, uh, if uh, you are going to switch on the motor then that will take some time that will take some time to get to the hundred percent okay that will take some time get to the hundred percent whenever you switch off the motor then that uh, entire pipe water will drain out and then entire flow will be stopped and that will take uh, that will take some time to uh, entire uh, to stop that entire wa water so that come uh, that come to from 100% to 0% again that will take some time lag okay so
So 100% to 0% that will take some time lag. 0 to 100% also that will take some time lag. So in between these two parts. So here nothing operation is performed. So no operation is performing there. So no operation is performing nothing but that will sit idle. So that idle position is called as a neutral zone. Okay, in neutral zone that will not produce any output. So this much of time being is wasting in the two position controller mode. So this is the main disadvantage of the two position controller mode. In order to avoid that one, we are going to take so many positions like uh, not even we are not going to the two positions more than two positions then we can eliminate the neutral zone. Okay. So this is an example for the uh, electrical two position control system. Here we are going to same thing. Here we are going to switch on the motor and switch off the motor according to the water level here. Okay. So this is an electrical control system. First whenever that will check the level here and according to that one that controller part will generate the output. After that that wall will operate accordingly. Either that wall will totally open or totally closed. So next we will go for This is a actually two position control system where, where we are going to apply. AC in halls or any uh, which is uh, large scale systems then we are going for the two position control systems. So wherever uh, the, what is the main disadvantage of this one that is that will produce a neutral zone nothing but that will produce the oscillations. So for that we are going for the multi position control systems. What is mean by multi position? Uh, beyond the two position control system where we taken only 0% and 100% in meanwhile we are going to take the controller output positions. So here you can observe here which is initially 0% is there and 100% is there. So in between we are going to take 50%. So this, this is an extra point or extra controller output we are going to take. So only two positions are there that is called as a two position controller mode here which is more than two positions are there. So that is called as a multi position controller mode. Okay. So we can write the output equation. Here we are writing three positions. So we have, we have to compare two errors. Okay. So two errors means here uh, either you can take E1 or E2. Okay, E1 or E2 you can take. So here before if Ep is less than minus E1. So here in the graph we are going to take 2 minus E1 and E2. So if error is below the E1, below the E1 then that should produce a 0%. If error is in between that minus E1 and E2. If error is in between whatever the errors you consider that actual error is in between these two errors then that should produce 50% then. Okay. If error is greater than E2, if error is greater than E2 then that should produce 100%. Okay. Likewise we are going to take that P is equals to 100% whenever EP is greater than E2. 50% if EP value is in between minus E1 and E2. 0% whenever EP is less than minus E1. So we have three positions. You can observe graph here. Okay, on the x axis we are going to take same error value and uh, y axis we are going to take the output value. So whenever minus E1, so before minus E1 that should produce a 0%. Here from here to here that is between error. Okay, error is in between minus E1 and E2. There that will produce 50% and above that, minus, above that E2 that will produce the 100%. So uh, likewise we can take one example which is uh, that output or error which will vary continuously like this which is a random signal. So here I am taking minus E1 and E2 here. So this is an entire signal I am going to take on the y axis, x axis that will indicate the time here. Okay. So x axis that will indicate the time. So here you observe so that, uh, that graph should be divided into three parts. So whatever the error signal if below that one, so here that below below what is below below minus E1 here and this part is above minus uh, above E2 and from here to here 0 to here that part is which is in between E1 and E2 and here also from here to here that error is in between E1 and E2 and from here to here that error is in between E1 and E2 okay now we observe so we need to draw the graph which is an output graph here so output I am going to take on the y axis and here x axis I am going to take the time. Okay. So up to here, up to this part from 0 to this part that error is in between minus E1 and E2. So that should produce what? That should produce 50% of output. So directly that will produce 50% of output. That will produce 50% of output. After that, the 
This is above the graph, above the E2. That graph is above E2. So that will produce what? That will produce 100%. Actually, in ideal position, that directly goes to the 100%. But that, that will take, in practical case, that will take some lag. So that uh, is called as a lag or delay. So that slant line indicates the lag or delay here. So that will produce 100%. And again here, in between, that uh, graph or that error value is in between E minus E1 and E2. So that is produces again 50% and this is below minus E1. So that should produce 0% and again that will in between cover, uh, so that will produce 50%. So this is a multi-position control system example. So next we will go for floating tank. So we completed two position control system. So in two position control system that will produce only two outputs. Whenever EP is greater than zero that will produce 100%. Whenever EP is less than zero that will produce 0%. In the three position or multi position control system that will produce 0, 50 and 100. If error is below the minus E1 that will produce 0%. If error is in between minus E1 and E2 then that will produce 50%. And again if error is above E2 that will produce 100%. So uh, these two are finished. Next to last, last one. Excuse me. So last one, which is floating type of controller mode. So floating type of controller mode, which is same as this one, which will produces uh, more, which will produces three types of outputs. But here, in previous case, directly that will goes to the hundred percent. Okay, directly that will goes to the hundred percent or fifty percent. Here, whenever the controller output is changes. That output is rate of change of uh, error that will take. Okay, so in previous case, directly we write P is equals to 100% or 0% or whatever 50%. So here, that floating time controller mode, we can take it as the rate of change of output is equals to constant. Nothing but the output. The output is which is rate of change of error that will produces. The output is produces the rate of change of error. So, uh, this is about the floating type controller mode. In the next class, we will discuss about the proportional integral controller modes. Thank you.